welcome to the first video of Terraform. Uh, I'm still doing the AZ300 series, uh, but today I was doing something related to Terraform. Then I thought, why not do the Terraform simultaneously? And I'll, I'll be uploading AWS videos as well. Hope uh, these would be helpful. So, uh, without wasting any time, let's talk about uh, Terraform and uh, why we're gonna use Terraform and what is the benefits all right so before we and before we go ahead and talk about the Terraform we need to understand something that is infrastructure as code because we are using Terraform for or as IAC tool or a, a tool which will give us the code of our infrastructure so let's understand what is infrastructure as code in plain and simple english it is your it infrastructure as a code means to manage your it infrastructure using code or configuration files managing your infrastructure as IAC would give you a lot of benefits and solves a lot of issues that appear while maintaining infra manually let's check few benefits uh, the very first is speed IAC enables you to quickly set up your complete infrastructure by running a script or code or uh, it could be a terraform or it could be ARM templates, could be cloud formation or any other tool in the market. <coughs> then uh, consistency. Well, manual process or uh, all uh, manual steps always prone to mistakes and manual infrastructure management will result in discrepancies no matter how hard you try and uh, you'll find a lot of snowflakes around. So IAC solves that problem by having the configuration file as a single source of truth that also helps you to in uh, establishing accountability since you you can version IAC config files like any source code file you have full traceability of the changes each configuration suffered and it is it is orchestration tool it will automate a lot of things and there would not be any manual intervention so of course it will lower the cost and it would be more efficient so that's all about a brief uh, story or introduction about the IAC now let's understand Terraform well uh, why we're using Terraform first well because Terraform I find personally a lot easier than ARM template and maybe the people who are working on ARM template already may find Terraform a bit difficult, but for me it is Terraform that I find simpler than ARM templates. And the second point where, why I chose uh, Terraform is because it is a cross-platform tool. It can interact with many providers. You might be wondering what is provider. Let me show you. Let me show you. Well, uh, this is Terraform.io. This is the Terraform official website and you can find providers that means what Terraform supports a provider is responsible for understanding API interaction and exposing resources and Terraform API can talk to all of these providers so it is a cross-platform tool it can talk to AWS it can talk to Azure GCP VMware OpenStack you name all the providers here right here you can choose all right you need to define the provider inside your code and once you initiate the Terraform it will download all the relevant plugins and it will interact or act accordingly and uh, Terraform is, is declarative it's not uh, imperative that means you need not to provide the steps rather say make it so as Jeffrey Snower says while explaining PowerShell DSC so it is declarative Terraform can be packaged as modules and reused which avoids rewriting the code Terraform gives us the possibility of planning and modification and control changes preview before apply <clears throat> 
this Terraform uh, have few three few simple commands like plan, apply, and destroy. So we are talking about plan here. Once you're in the plan, it will show you what it is going to do, whether it is going to remove something or <clears throat> delete something or add something. It will give you all the plan in front of you. And you can choose whether it is correct or not. Then you can apply. Once you apply, it will go and create the resources. And with a single command, Terraform destroy, it will destroy whatever is created. And everything is tracked inside the Terraform TF state file right here, you can see. Or oh, we'll talk about each and everything uh, in detail in the in this series. It will be a lot of videos regarding uh, Terraform on Azure. This is the first one, and we are just getting ourselves familiar with the code. And today we'll be talking about the authentication uh, with Azure while well, using Terraform. So there are, there are multiple ways we can do that. As you can see right now, uh, if you type AZ login here, as I was doing prior to this video, it will open a browser and you need uh, Azure CLI for that installed on your computer before you perform this step. And it will open a browser where you can put in your ID and password and you can log in and you can deploy your codes. There is an other authentic way that people usually use that is the service principle. I hope uh, you guys are aware of service principle. If you're not, keep checking the uh, 300 series. You'll find the videos on service principle, manage identities, and a lot more. Maybe it's not there right now. It will appear later. So uh, you need to create a service principle. It is, it is very easy. You need to go to the Active Directory, uh, Azure Active Directory, and you can create there, provided uh, rights of contributor. And once you do that, you would have this information, your subscription ID, your client ID, your client secret, secret and your tenant ID. You need this information. <clears throat> And once you have this information, you can you, uh, you can uh, provide this information to your code, and with the help of this information, your code would authenticate with your uh, Azure subscription. You can see I have also written provider as Azure RM. Don't worry, we're gonna create all of that from the beginning. I'm just giving a brief idea. 